I unfollowed everybody on Instagram. What's up guys, it's Felix from Giant Lifestyle. So in today's video, I wanna share with you guys why I unfollowed every single person on Instagram. So for a long time, my general rule of thumb for following people on Instagram was keeping my following limit at 100. And I've kind of been dabbling with the idea of screenshotting and writing down every single person of the top people who I enjoy following and putting them on a back burner and unfollowing everybody, but I just couldn't uh, muster up the courage to do it. Well, this morning I decided to unfollow everybody. So my current followers is just under 2,000 and my following is now at zero. I might make a backup account for my Instagram and one for one of my business pages and follow those accounts, but as far as following people and you know going into the deep dark hole or black hole of Instagram I'm officially removing myself from it so somebody like myself who makes money on Instagram who makes money on social media who does a lot of business on social media I still couldn't come to grip with the fact that social media is or Instagram is you know an addiction or like a catalyst that can literally run your life. I want everybody who has an Instagram account that watches this video to go to your settings. It's somewhere on your iPhone app where you can see how many times you open an app in a day. And I did this after watching another business entrepreneur called Kevin David and he said he was opening the app something like 200 times in a single day and I checked my stats and I was opening the platform like 60 70 times a day with over three hours of scrolling on it so I know it's not because I'm posting I'm not like one of those meme pages that have thousands and thousands of posts and you know hundreds of posts a day I only have seven posts since May of 2018 so I know it's not posting I know it's not liking I know no, no, it's not commenting back. It's simply scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And you know, in all honesty, Instagram is nothing more than a bragging contest. Everybody is bragging. And you know, whether you're on the watching or the playing, you know, like on a basketball court, you go to an NBA game, there's 10 guys on the floor and there's 50,000 people in the, in the audience. And you know, it doesn't matter what side you're on, both sides are toxic. Whether you're the one scrolling and admiring other people and comparing yourself to others, that's just as toxic as somebody who is, you know, obsessively trying to portray a lifestyle. And if you try to match those lifestyles being portrayed, you can, I would say, ruin your life, man. Because a lot of people think that these people on the internet or these people on Instagram are perfect. They have nothing wrong with them. They don't go through problems. They don't have stress. That is BS, man. Everybody goes through problems. Everybody has things going on in their life. Don't think because they post um, a picture with a Bentley or a picture with a Rolex that their life is perfect, man. Yes, those are goals. Yes, those are uh, inspirations. Yes, those are something to look forward to man but you have to understand that entrepreneurship and whatever you set out to do in life it's a process and don't beat yourself up to it up if you can't get there in three months six months nine months i've been doing this business entrepreneur stuff for five years and this will be my most successful year the first three four years were up and down up and down up and down failure 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 success success up and down up and down failure 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 success up and down so this morning I decided to unfollow every single person. Like I said, even though I make money from Instagram, I make money from Facebook, I run at social media ads, I will not succumb myself to being a robot and somebody that opens the platform, sometimes not even knowing that I'm opening the platform. I'll catch myself opening the platform and just scrolling and not even know that I'm doing it. Or in the morning waking up and just scrolling. The only social media platform that I truly enjoy is YouTube. I feel like YouTube is a mix between pleasure and business. There's times when I'll go on there and I'll strictly just learn, 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 learn. Or watch some of my favorite YouTubers like Big Herc 916 or Keith Calvis. Um, I really enjoy their guys' channels, but it's not an obsessive nature. I feel like the obsessive nature on YouTube is some, somehow good. The obsessive nature on Instagram is poison. You'll be watching their stories. You'll be watching all their pictures. You'll be scrolling for years. You'll get kicked off from the platform being buggy. You ever scroll so far, the platform crashes. You'll go back and try and get, pa get back to the same level you were on the scrolling limit. Man, I don't want to do it no more, man. I don't want to be a victim of a social media addiction. It's kind of crazy. You almost feel like you can't tap out. I feel like I can't tap out. I think I might do it with Facebook. YouTube is something that I do to share my ideas, share my thoughts, 
but even part of me feels like it's hard because once you get to this side of the social media level where you're a creator, you almost feel like you can't show anything less than being 100% strong or 100% perfect. I made this channel simply to share my journey, share my thoughts, share my successes, my wins, my failures, but after a while, you start to think that you have to portray a certain lifestyle, man. Listen, Instagram, I think, is the most toxic platform around. Whether you make money from it, you don't make money from it, you post, you don't post. Following an obsessive amount of people is bad for you, man. I think having followers and letting other people come to your mission and, and join you on your path to success is a little bit better, but you know, they're both on the toxic level, but I'm not gonna be sitting there following thousands of people and obsessing over thousands of people. I'm gonna do this for 30 days um, and just see how it is. It, I just went on Instagram right after I did this and it felt weird to uh, open up my, my, pe my page and look at my feed and see nothing. Look at the stories on the top and see nothing. So I'm curious to see how it's going to limit my activity on my phone, how many times I'm actually gonna open the app, what I'm gonna do on the app, will it mess my business up, will it make my revenue decrease, who knows, man. But I think for my own mental capacity and my own sanity, I have to do it, man. So let me know what you guys think, man. I, I don't wanna deal with Instagram no more. It's a good platform to connect and do business with other people. But at the same time, if you're not careful, you can sink into the Instagram dark hole. If you ever go to space, like they say, you go to space, you go to a certain galaxy, and you go down a black hole, a black hole is millions and millions of miles deep. Instagram is the same way, man. So that's my current thought, man. I'm going to try and limit myself from social media. Unless you're creating... Um, you shouldn't be on that platform. Even then, it, you still have to keep it at a minimal amount because you can become obsessed and be trapped by a platform. Think about the people who own these platforms. Think about how rich they're getting off your addiction to scroll or your addiction to see what's going on. I might be a little bit tapped out of society um, from not being so in tune with Instagram, but I think for my own mental capacity, it's gonna be a good thing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Peace.